Okay, so inside of Helldivers, we've got some confusing things going on all over the place. The community manager's making announcements. Things are appearing in the game. Things are disappearing in the game. There's loads going on with that. The major order is by the skin of its bloody teeth. And we're building farms in fire tornadoes. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's been one hell of a 24 hours, guys. But nonetheless, we're going to dive on into everything that we've got coming in-game for you. So if you haven't already, smash that beautiful blue thumbs up and subscribe with post notifications turned on. It'd be greatly appreciated. On top of that, check out our sponsor for today's video, Control Freak, the number one in controller gaming aiming. That's right, we made it rhyme, but not only that, if you go down to the description right now, click on the link and use code CloudPlays at checkout, you'll get a cheeky discount of 12%, and yes, we're aware it's better than 10. Anywho, moving on into the news today. So the Baskinator has blessed us with her presence in the Discord, and it's for a very peculiar reason, to be completely honest. It says, alert, rogue item detected. Did. The Ministry of Truth has a confirmation that a rogue item called the Catalog Expansion is temporarily visible in the ship management menu, and in accordance with regulations, we instruct all Helldivers to avoid this rogue item until further noticed. The Ministry of Truth cannot confirm the reliability or safety of this item, nor can they confirm its origin. Now, obviously, we're talking in the roleplay aspect there with that notice, but pretty much what we experienced in-game, thanks to Gamer Clay, aka Leon Steiner yet again coming in clutch for me whereas this right here you can see there is a final piece right here this piece makes absolutely no sense now obviously this isn't a foreign language to English but it is the catalog expansion there is absolutely nothing on the main taskbar on the left hand side and we have no idea what it does but nonetheless there is just absolutely nothing to it. It got taken out a little after that, and now it's gone, so we'll never know exactly what it is. We'll have to see exactly how this one processes, because realistically, right now, we now know that there are more ship modules that are going to be making their way through. What they are, they've kept it quiet, the leaks have not shown absolutely anything, and even if you go onto it right now, you cannot find the catalog expansion on your ship modules. It's um, interesting, to say the least, but Baskinay is, uh, is keeping it close to her chest, with no more words said about it. A very sceptical one, but I'm interested to know what you guys are thinking about this and whether we're actually going to obtain some more ship modules going up very soon. They are obviously in place. What they're used for, we'll have to wait and see, but nonetheless, it's still pretty interesting. Moving in to the main major order though, with at the point of recording, 10 hours and 25 minutes remaining. This one is getting a little bit sketchy and tight for us, my boys. A little bit sketchy and tight. So let's take a look at the Galactic War Table. We'll ignore the fact that there's 36 random people on the Orion Sector, and we'll ignore the fact that the Umlaut Sector has 71 people on, uh, but irrelevant to it. When we move into this right here, we can see that the Astanu and Crimsica have actually been fully liberated. It really irritates me that they haven't put Fori Prime on because a section closed is a section closed, but I can see why they've done it. Anyway, moving forward, we have only got Helmir left to take out. So this place is an absolute nightmare. Now, if you guys do remember what the dispatch note stated, it was that we were essentially going for more efficient E710 farms. Now, if you turn 710 upside down, it makes oil, and you can see that what we're looking for is an oil farm. Well, I actually think that this Reddit post layers it down quite nicely, and um, I don't know why the hell we would want it, but it states right here, now, I'm the last woman to question orders, but really, this one? We want to build a farm on this one. Yeah, I know. I know, make it make sense. It's making absolutely zero sense as to why that's the storyline for Helmire, but nonetheless, it is what it is. And we have got around 10 hours, 24 minutes, and at the point of recording, we are at 60% liberation time with 195,000 of you. In the last five minutes of just recording this, it has jumped up. We were around nine and a half hours was the predicted liberation time, which would have taken us up by the skin of our bloody teeth. And given that everybody who's playing right now is actually in there and stays in there for a little while and does their bit then we should be able to finish this in around seven hours to eight hours flat a really interesting one because actually once this one's done what is the next move the likelihood is is that we're going to start chipping away at other ones for more oil i don't really know where the storyline goes with this because it doesn't seem all too deep but it'll be interesting to see 
how it pans out. So I'm expecting quite a hard major order after this as we roll into the actual week of the game because naturally Arrowhead are on their days off over the weekend so we were just kind of given this one by the feels of it but it should get a bit more interesting soon and hopefully some more equipment should come in placement for it but we'll have to wait and see exactly how that one pans because right now there is around 50 to 60 thousand of you on 4e prime a little bit confusing but you do you boo boo hopefully you're enjoying the game all the same now, before we get into the rest of the video, we are doing a giveaway here on the channel. We are giving away a copy of Helldivers 2. And don't panic, if you've already got the game, then we're going to be giving you guys the money equivalent in super credits. That's right, really simple. All I want you guys to do is go down into the comment section and stick a blue love heart in there, and we can get this thing rolling. We'll announce the winners this weekend over on the community page and the Discord, which is now well over uh, 10,000 people strong. That one is absolutely mental. Thank you so much again for all of the love in the discord you guys have been incredible nonetheless let's dive on into the rest of the video now moving on to other notice periods though we have got quite a lot in here for you guys to enjoy this one is hilarious and one that made me laugh no end if you've watched madagascar then you will appreciate this post quite nicely but it says don't worry guys the professionals have arrived 9.3 thousand upvotes <laughs> I don't need to really say any more on that one. I think that this one nailed it. And if I saw these little guys running around the main war field on Helldivers 2, I think that I would be on their side and run for it. I think it would be hilarious to watch this one, but I think they'd do quite well. Nonetheless, Skipper, Kowalski, Rico and Private, good luck on your Helldives, my boys. Good luck on your Helldives. And I've got a question for you guys, because this post right here, I think may have been relevant just a few weeks ago, but as of right now, I don't see the relevancy of it. I think that actually it doesn't really hit so much as what other things are right now. It says, if there were a hundred most annoying video game enemies ever created list, this effing little communist a-hole has my vote for number one. Now he stays right here, seriously, get five or six of these little bees jumping around you with two or three bile spewers on your ass and you're straight up effed. They always seem to get at least one smack in, consistently crit and always appear when you've just ran out of ammo to lay the fascism down on you while you insert more liberty pellets into your freedom dispensers. They make the shield pack almost mandatory on high difficulties. Now, these are an absolute nightmare, don't get me twisted. Although what I am experiencing right now is that the bio spewers, the nurse spewers, and all of those spewy little buggers seem to be the biggest bane of my life right now because for some damn reason they are spawning by the bloody bucket load. Yep, I, I know. We did a search and destroy earlier, and I'm not playing on high levels, mind you. We did a search and destroy earlier on, I think, level 6, and when I went down into one bunker to go and take out the bug holes, which was about 12 bug holes in that bunker point, there was, and I counted, seven bile spewers in the middle. It's an absolute joke how much they can cause some bloody damage, as well as those mortar spewing spile thingy majigs you, you guys know the sort they are just an absolute nightmare anything that spits bloody venom at you is going to cause some problems and now the little ones are getting involved as well for me anything that spews it just needs to bloody go i know full well that i'm being biased on this one because i am damn sick and tired of getting one shot by some puke I'm just saying, that's my rant over. I don't think that these guys are actually the worst thing inside of the bugs territory anymore, but maybe that's just me. Let me know your guys' opinions via the comment section down below, and if you want to get really heated about it, feel free to get those paragraphs rolling. I'm in the mood to have a really good read for it tonight, so <laughs> let me know what your worst bug to face is via the comment section below. That's unfortunately all we got time for today. Thank you so much again for watching, guys. I appreciate all your faces. If you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe. And appreciate you all. Thanks again for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the clouds.